Kevin Meyer, we've spoken about him. The Rio silver medalist last summer, when he improved his best by 313 points to it, as Peter said, comes second behind Ashton Eaton. Well, they're away cleanly this time. Arenya gets a good start. So too alongside him does Distelberger. Arenya now really starting to charge home. It's Arenya and Distelberger in that order. Unofficially 696. So Arenya, not quite as quick as the 691 who ran in Paris, but still a very solid start to proceedings for the Spaniard. And Arenia's time is revised to 6.94. Three hundredths away from his personal best. So, very good running there from the 2015 European Under-23 silver medalist, who's really looking for his first major medal on the senior stage. Well, quickest away was certainly Arenia. Maya coming through strongly over the second half of the race. Meyer a little bit slow away, but eventually came through very, very strongly. Full results there. That's a slight disappointment from Juri Sakura, the world junior champion. He has had injury problems. But then, as you can see, after the first of seven disciplines, Jorge Arena and Dominic Distelberger both have 904 points running 694 in that heat of the 60 metres in the heptathlon. Those are the men who will complete the final as we're now in the second round of the heptathlon long jump and Kevin Meyer. Yes, he started with, for him, a fairly modest jump of 724. Chance now him to stretch away from that. See how he goes. Yes, better, I think, but um, nowhere near Ashley Bryant, 760, which remains the easily the best jump of the competition. Well, I say nowhere near, a little short, I'd say, of Ashley Bryant's jump. To one in, superimposed on the screen there, but a few centimetres down on that. Nonetheless, it's a big improvement for Meyer after that opening 7.24. And now, yeah, 7.54. So that's the second best of the day. Yes, we're only two events into the seven that will be contested over the course of today and tomorrow, but yes, it's going to be a very intriguing competition. And many of the leading uh, contenders showing strongly in that long jump aboard of the first eight there. I think the leading contenders, Maya, Bryant, Arenia, would have all liked to have jumped, jumped that little bit further and perhaps capable on the season's rankings, One but point still produce solid performances. One point that we didn't draw attention to is that Marcel Weibo has apparently withdrawn from the competition. Uh, nothing showing for him then. So, Maya has 18.45, Bryant 18.36, Caroli with that good long jump up to 18.15, just ahead of Distelberger. Uh, the shot, an event that uh, could well cause quite considerable changes in the standings. Kevin Meyer, the Olympic silver medalist, goes in the first round of the shot. Oh, that's a nice put too for Meyer. Very nice put. Now he's got a personal best of 15.97. So he won't be too far away from that. And this should uh, consolidate his lead in the event overall. So there's the result of the shot. Darko Pesic, easily the best of that competition with his 16.08 from Kevin Meyer, 15.66. Now all the way down to Caroli at 12.21. So quite a gap in the overall points in that. And Meyer has uh, consolidated his lead at the head of the affairs. I hope we'll get a, a check on the overall standings after three events. Yes, we do. 2.675, 76 ahead of Ashley Bryant, who's having a very solid uh, series of events. now in the heptath and the high jump at 207. Well clear for Meyer, nice jump indeed, that consolidates his lead. Well, it was a very tight contest after three events, but 
Meyer now starting to open up a little bit of a gap on his rivals with that jump. Yeah, Rosenberg's also gone at 207, but of course he's not uh, one of the major contenders. Dudas has gone out, having done 201. There's the lineup, uh, standings. Maya, 125 point lead, 3571. Then Urania, Helselet, and Bryant will be, as I said, in the second race. Rosenberg, plenty of support, of course, for Milhal Dudas of Serbia, who's still in strong medal contention. Weibo, the one non starter. Well, away they go. Good start by Urania in the Spanish costume. Next to him is uh, Distelberger. These two getting away from the field. It's a good run also by Maya. Maya finishes well, but it's behind those two men who started so well, Distelberger and Urania. And the time I'm just looking for, it's not shown up on the screen yet. It's unusual. No matter about that. Good run by some of the leading contenders here. Yes, indeed. The time has come through. It's 7.78 for Urania. Well, that's a terrific personal best for him and there'll be some good times behind and that equals the best ever in a heptathlon in a european indoor championship urania lying second overall he'll have narrowed the gap a little bit on kevin meyer but meyer ran well Let's have a look at it again urania was terrifically well away in lane three distelberger next to him in the dark vest kevin meyer of france coming through now in lane seven and dipping hard, it's Urania just from Distelberger. 778 to 780, 788 for Meyer. And uh, while well, looking at Meyer, that's a huge personal best from 801 previously. So he really is on track for a pretty useful score here. 1,038 points is gained by Urania here, third from the right of the screen. Result of the second race of the hurdles, the top runners. Urania equaling the best ever in a European indoor heptathlon with 7.78, then Distelberger 7.80, Meyer 7.88, personal best for both of them, personal best also for Sikora, and Helselet maintaining his challenge in fourth place. So those are putting the two races together, adding in, of course, those like uh, Pesic who, and Ramsey, who came from the first of the races. Kevin Mark is still leading uh, in the heptathlon after five events. Uh, 99 points uh, is a advantage uh, over... Two events to come in this heptathlon. The pole vaulters, which will be starting in about an hour's time. And uh, then the 1,000 metres to conclude proceedings. Well, so those are the standings now after six, or rather five of the seven events. Maya 4583 has a 99 point lead now over Urania. Helselet in third, then Bryant, Pesic, who's moved up to fifth, Dudas, Distelberger, and Samuelsson. And that concludes, uh, concludes these standings. the results of the heptathlon pole vault very quickly both Kevin Meyer and Niels Pitonbills both over 540 and that means that Kevin Meyer has a 224 point lead 5618 heading for the gold and just what score will he do Kevin Meyer leading he's certain to win the gold medal Jorge Urania looks safe in silver Helselet will probably get the bronze but Dudas is fourth and he will get plenty of support from the crowd 
He would need to beat Helsinet by about five seconds. And he has got a personal best three seconds better to overtake him for the bronze. And then there's a bit of a gap back to Distelberger, Samuelson, Beaton Bills, and so on. Kevin Myers had a wonderful heptathlon. He started with the 60 metres in 6.95, 7.54 in the long jump, 15.66 in the shot, 2.10 in the high jump, and then a personal best to start today at 5.86, matching his pole vault best at 5.40. So he seemed to get better and better throughout the competition. And he has got a personal best for the 1,000 metres of 2.37.30, and he needs 244.8 to beat the European record. Roman Chevrolet is 6.438, and that's a little ahead of the championship best, 6.424 by Thomas Dvorak. I think it's highly likely that those records will be removed by Kevin Meyer today. But it all depends a little bit on how tired he is, of course, from his exertion earlier, particularly in the pole vault, although he had a long rest before he actually entered the competition. And also a magnificent competition, admittedly at a distance, by Jorge Arena. Arena's target is his Spanish national record, just to make sure that he's going to take the silver medal. Arena looking to beat the 6,249 points he clocked in Prague last month. Arena, well, he hasn't been able to stay with Maya, but he had magnificent high jump, setting personal best there and a fantastic championship best performance in the 60 metres hurdles of 7.78, which absolutely smashed his personal best. Well, certainly the Spanish record's in his sights. He's got a best of 2.40.04, and he needs 2.41.7. There's the bronze medal candidate at the moment, Adam Sebastian. Pelsolet and the man who just might be able to overtake him, Michel Dudas. And everything he's done in these last couple of three days has been cheered to the echo. So off they go on the final event of the heptathlon. See how they settle down. There'll be quite a difference in standards, as one expects from the various athletes in this race. They'll all have their in individual targets because it's not a question of who wins this race, it's a question of how they fare on the scoring tables. They're wearing uh, numbers according to their positions. So number 13, 13th overall. And, uh, Kevin Meyer is back in, what, 7th, 8th place, the Frenchman. Samuelson just coming up behind him, looking out for Lorena as well. He's fairly well back in this pack at the moment. The Spaniard who's building for the silver medal. He's a little bit of a bid for glory here, of course, by the man who is 13, Caroli of Italy. Number 12, rather, um, getting my numbers slightly wrong. So that's Matthias Brugger of Germany, who hasn't actually had as good a competition as he might have expected, but he's obviously going to move up a position or two if he can keep going here. And they go with uh, Brugger very well in the lead indeed. And then it's the lesser-ranked athletes, mostly. And the five Distelbergers are placed in fourth. Bryant just going past him, and Samuelson, and Nyers just behind them. Bruger's got a five-second lead at the moment. Meyer coming up on the outside a little faster. Dudash also pushing on. And he's got to beat uh, Helselet by those five seconds. So they're coming up now to the 800 metre point, and uh, certainly a very decent performance there, 2.449.
and the crowd are really urging on Dudas, who's putting in quite a burst at this stage of the race. <laughs> Bruger's all the dying out in the lead there now. He's being chased down by the rest of the field. This position's changing quite considerably. Number six there. We're just around this one mile, two Urania, three Hulselet. These are lesser positions. Still looking out for Meyer. Well, we'll have to wait to see. Well, I'm afraid Dudak's chances of bronze medal finished it yeah. about 60 metres from the line there when he took a tumble. Well, this man Pesic, who Montenegro, who's won the race, has been quite a star, really. He's the best shot putter at 16 metres. And he came past Brugge, because Brugge lost an awful lot of ground. And the Montenegrin record is gone, I'm sure of that, with his 238-23. Then we got Brugge and Caroli finishing. But the interesting thing was further down the pack, and I'm going to wait. Well, Maya has done it. Maya has done it. 241.08. So he has smashed the championship record, the European record, and that's the second best performance of all time, just behind Ashton Eaton with uh, another 861 points added from the 241.08 thousand metres from his fourth place finish. Well, tears for Dudas there. There was a clattering of athletes. Here we see the final bend. Dudas trips over the kerb as Maya comes around him and just falls into... That's the end of his medal aspirations. An unfortunate end to what had otherwise been a two great days for one of the Serbian heroes. He's going to finish out of the medals, but Maya finishing magnificently. Yes, unofficially I've got his score at 6.479. Urania around 243.66, and that's just a little <laughs> less than he needed for the Spanish record. 20 odd points outside yeah. the record. What a El pity. Helselet came in in 10th place, so confirming Urania's silver and Helselet's third. And Dudas will finish fourth, having come in in the end 12th in that race. No, in fact, fourth, oh, we fourth. talked about him, was Distelberger, yes, who okay. finally cracked 6,000 metres. 6,063. Oh, we well talked done. a little bit yesterday about how close he'd come so often. But this is the man of the moment, Kevin Meyer. What a terrific series of points. Not least of which that penultimate event, the pole vault, cracking his personal best on several occasions. So there is confirmation of the result of the heptathlon 1,000 metres. Glory going to Darko Pesic of Montenegro with a personal best, 238.23. Then Brugge, and the important point was that in fourth place was Kevin Meyer, smashing the records as we'll see in a moment or two. 14 men finishing the heptathlon from the 16 who started. Lost Weaver early on and we lost Ramsey later. So these days the points can come through quite quickly with computers and so on. I remember early days when I started with frantic computations going back, like say the 72 Olympics, has Mary Peters won? Well, I knew she had, but that's only because my own stopwatch and a bit of frantic mathematics. And it takes, took quite a long time for the actual computerized results to come through. Anyway, there they are. One, two, three, before the 1,000 meters, and it didn't change in that race. They are one, two, three. After a fascinating heptathlon. Kevin Meyer taking the gold medal with 6,479 points. Jorge Irania of Spain, the silver, just missing the Spanish record with his 6.227. Helselet, 6.110. Then Distelberger getting over 6,000 at last. Dudas also Samuelson getting that barrier of 6,000 points for the first time. 